This is a special public service announcement for Katie After Dark. Good evening. For Katie After Dark, this is correspondent Chris Speedwagon coming at you with a very important announcement. It's in regards to Bunker Hill Chili. As you are aware, I am a Bunker Hill PhD. I am the official expert of Bunker Hill for KD After Dark. I've studied for many years the very various intricacies of Bunker Hill Chili, and I am here to provide my knowledge and insight about the three different types of Bunker Hill Chili. You know that I am an expert because I'm wearing a jacket and I have a pipe in my hand and I have glasses on. So those are the three qualifications that tell you that I am an expert. Some of you realize that there is, of course, Bunker Hill Chili, the, the original one. Chili, no beans. Because beans don't need to be in no damn chili, right? This is the one that I started off with many moons ago. A family. That's where I got into it with. So, uh, it's the more common one. It's delicious. It's almost sheer perfection. But then recently, probably in the last few years, I discovered the spicier, chunkier version. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is the ultimate in Bunker Hill Chili. Yes, this is the one and only. This is the only one you really need. Now, obviously, if you can't find this in your area, then you definitely would be fine with this other one. Sorry. I'm trying to have a visitor here. Now, there is this one called Hot Dog Chili Sauce. Now, despite the fact that it has chili in its name, this is not chili. Okay, and despite the fact that it has Bunker Hill on the can, again, doesn't necessarily make this as good as these two right here. For this demonstration, this is the only time this can will ever be above these two. Some time ago, I had to use this. Now, it's been a long time. Maybe something's changed. I don't know. We'll find out here shortly because I am going to do a taste test here here in a moment. Um, I did have to buy this because I couldn't find the regular chili. And this is before I discovered the spicier kind. So I bought this. I was having hot dogs because I like hot dogs. And I thought, what's hot dog chili sauce? And it's Booker Hill, so how could I get wrong? Ho, oh. ho. The first thing I thought when I ate it was like, oh, this blows. Horrible. So give me a few minutes. I'm going to open this can up. I'm going to make me some, some hot dogs. And I'm, i got some liver mush too, so I'm going to make me a liver mush sandwich and a hot dog. Because maybe hot dog sauce is palatable on a liver mush sandwich. So we'll find out. All right. So just give me a few moments. I'm going to prepare some succulent food and we'll see how it tastes all right i'll be right back okay since i'm cooking i took off my jacket because i don't want to mess that up it's a pretty nice jacket so uh i got it at goodwill you can you can get some good stuff at goodwill so i'm gonna flip this joker around so uh i'm always going with frank courier liver mush that's my that's my flavor they didn't have hot so I had to go for the regular one. I don't have brand loyalty when it comes to hot dogs. I get whatever I, whatever's cheapest for right now, I guess. So uh, I got some Barrios Classic Franks. 
I'm only heating up the uh, hot dog chili sauce. So uh, <clears throat> let me get this mess started and I'll show you what the chili sauce looks like in the pot. Be back. All right, so since the Board of Commissioners of Katy After Dark and Cliffside don't offer up no money, I'd have one of those GoPro cameras on my forehead right now so I could show you the whole process of me cooking. But, uh, you know, we're on a shoestring budget, and that shoestring is frayed and, and broken. So, anyway, I'm going to show you that... Uh, Oh, my, my grease jug back there. So, as you can see, it is the hot dog chili sauce. I've already opened the can. I wanted you to see that ain't no shenanigans going on. You can already see that there's a big difference <coughs> in the uh, color and texture of it. You know, it's usually it's not as like liquidy looking as this stuff looks like. It has the appearance of like, I don't know, the day after Taco Bell, you like started on yourself or something. So, uh, I'm going to put this in the pot and make it hot because only maniacs eat stuff out of a can. So, I'll be back again. <clears throat> so, there goes my weenies boiling. That's coming up pretty good. Got my mush frying up nicely. It's just started. And there's the hot dog chili sauce. I haven't started heating it up because this shit don't take very long to heat up. But uh, again, if if you are experienced in Bunker Hill even slightly, you can you can already tell already that this looks different. Now. I, I will typically lick the top of the can on my Bunker Hill. Just well, I'm not going to wait, waste that deliciousness. But uh, so I, I, I did it this time, and yeah, I I, I don't think the, ch the flavors changed any on this. I think I'm still going to have about the same experience as I did before. I, I kind of wish it wasn't. A bad thing to lick the cat's butt to get the taste out of my mouth but uh, you know may maybe heating it up is better so but uh, there's the Mwinnies there's the mush we'll be back all right here's the final product there's my liver mush sandwich there's the, obviously the hot dog so Duke's mayonnaise is on the liver mush sandwich Mustard's on both. I'm trying this coleslaw for the first time. A little bit I got tastes pretty good. It's like actually it's kind of like what I've had from other places before too. There's my red onion. Just confirm. There are the good cans of chili still. All right. Turn it back on me because you know obviously. This is what you want to look at, right? So, <clears throat> I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me eat all this. Obviously, my, my liver mush is unhappy about being put through this. Because it was falling all to pieces. I, I guess I cut it a little too thin, too, this time. But, uh, it is what it is. So, I'm going to take a bite of each. And, uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll start with the hot dog sauce. It's... it's Hot dog chili sauce. <clears throat> and now for the liver mush. <clears throat> it 
it's still Bunker Hill. So it's not like, I mean, oh, I'm going to pick Wolf Chili over, or Brand X over Hot Dog Chili Sauce. No, it's still Bunker Hill. So any day of the week that I can't find some of these other flavors. If I, I can only get Hot Dog Chili Sauce, I'll get it. But spicier, chunkier. This is the gold standard right here. This is the one you want. You see this on the counter or on the shelf, <coughs> you get you some. You'll never regret that decision, I promise you. And if you don't like it, well, I don't want to know you. So if you're on my friends list, unfriend me now. But this is the gold standard for all chilies, not just Bunker Hill, all chilies. Gold standard. You can't find that one because that one is a little harder to find. The regular chili no beans. This is the silver standard. This is still excellent chili. It's perfect. It's still amazing. It's still high quality chili. Hot dog chili sauce. It's not even a bronze standard, but it's still Bunker Hill. I'm not going to totally trash it because it would break my soul, my heart, to trash anything Bunker Hill completely and totally. It actually tastes better on the liver mush than it does on the hot dog sauce. So maybe they should call it Bunker Hill liver mush chili sauce. Just throwing that out there. But anyway, this is my dissertation on uh, Bunker Hill. I hope you all have enjoyed it. I enjoyed providing it for you. So until next time, I'm going to eat my food, and um, y'all take care of yourselves and each other. This is a special correspondent, Chris Speedwagon, signing off for KD After Dark with our public service announcement. Y'all be good. Stay out of trouble. Later.